Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. I don't know how to beg for lights. I just don't know how to do it. To me, it's like begging. And again, I would like to share to YT that if a person looks at a person's video all the way through, that's a like. And my philosophy is everyone that looks at videos know the procedure, protocol, and guidelines that if you, for that channel or whatever, you hit the like button. Other than that, if they don't, I'm not going to push you. So, so be it. But I want to share this. <laughs> but if you like, put, hit the like button. But I don't know how to beg. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. But anyway, I would like to share some information before I go into my drama. To take care of your own skin, all you need is, this is a raggedy one, is a buff. A exfoliating buff. They sell them in any beauty store. The exfoliating gloves and this for your heel. This works. That's all you need. And you could do it yourself. And anything other than that is a lie. And you could save money on lotion by applying it when your body is moist and wet. It just glides on. So that's just a bit of information. But I want to share that I've been looking at 48 hours. And it's the, like the Caucasian version of the first 48 hours. And these people are getting down. It's like it's just something in the nature of, of, of people, all people, to just, K, you can't say K-I-L-L. -L. So I'm going to say to eliminate, to pulverize, to, they say unlive. I don't like that word, unlive. You can't say K-I-L-L, -L, but I hear other channels say it all the time. They even say words that I thought was taboo and nobody bothers them. But this channel, 48 hours, these people are knocking each other off left and right. They're doing it to their neighbors, their parents, their children, their wives, their co-workers. They're doing it for sex. They're doing it for love. They're doing it for everything. But this is my understanding, misunderstanding uh, that I don't get. They make so many mistakes. And if you ever looked at any crime movie at all in your life on TV or social media, they tell you what not to do. And they be making mistakes and you can, they can lie because you're looking at it from the beginning to the end. And they can lie so well that they didn't do it. You would believe them. But they did it. And they got, they could trail you through your mobile, through your car. Your car has a black box in it. And it tells everywhere that you went. When you switch gears, what time, what longitude and latitude you were on. Then you got your mobile phone and then they so I-G-N-O-R-A-N-T ignorant. They go and, and take the person that they have knocked off ATM car and that takes a picture of you. You stop at the stoplight, that takes a picture of you. Then they take the person's car and everything and they just leave a trail as if they want to get caught. And then what's this thing about this memory in a body? Do you know how messy that is? If you want to get, <laughs> why would you go through all that? It's just tell you there's some sick minds out here. And the thing is, they could be on your social media page. Because some of them go right to the social media page and take pictures and tell everything that they do. It's just, it's just incredible. I'm going to end with this. I don't understand how these um, states give different sentences for the most hideous crimes. They tell you that they did it. These people come out and tell you that I did this to your child. And then they have the parents have to sit in, and the loved ones sit into the courtroom and hear all the gory details. 
And then they got to listen to the autopsy report. It's just sheer torture. And the trial can go on for six weeks. It's just sheer torture. Torture. And then a life for a life is a life for a life. That's the way I see it. Why are you giving them 12 years? And they told you what they did in each state is different. A life is for a life. And then there's something that gets me when the family get a chance in the courtroom to zoom in on them and get a hold to them, you know, and just wear them out for some piece of, some type of victory in their soul. Then the judge and the, and the authorities in the courtroom want to jump on the parent or the loved one that wants to get a little piece of them for taking your loved one out. And they just mad and angry with that person. That would be some type of punishment because all this justice is not working. We need punishment. And this is why I say punishment because then they want to negotiate the, the, the person that annihilated your child and your loved one. Negotiate. Instead of giving them life, they rather have 50 years. And if you negotiate with them, then they'll tell you where they buried your loved one. They got people that will gladly get the information out of them and you don't have to negotiate. How dare them ask for for vittles in, in, in the penitentiary or the prison, food and everything, but they won't tell you where your loved one, what they did with their pieces. But anyway, I just want to end with that. It's just horrible. Uh, there is no negotiating for uh, the body. And each state have their own separate laws. I'm going to end with that, but yeah, they people are knocking each other off. And, and then these are in those towns where it's just a community where it's all Caucasian. I told you these are the, uh, your well affluent people, filthy, wealthy, big time business. But it's just something in them. Instead of divorcing, they'd rather just knock their wife off and, and get caught. And, and they'd be surprised when, when, the, when the verdict come back guilty. But if there are no African black people, I don't know what to call us. I, I really truly don't. African DNA people, melanated people, I don't know. Black, whatever. Us. Us. When they see us. If there are none of us in that town to blame, then they have to blame it on themselves. That's how some of them get in the prison system, two million strong, and everybody in there are not guilty. So I'm gonna end with that, but it's just amazing at how it's just in people. They just got to do away with people, and they do it in the most hideous ways. How do you stab somebody 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 times? and dismembering people. And it's a it's a it's a it's a, a, a minority, a group of them out there. And then you meet somebody just like you. How do you meet how did the conversation start? Like Jeffrey Dahmer. How did the conversation start that you meet someone that also likes to eat people? How do you find somebody like that? But I'm gonna end that's just my analysis for father attacks his daughter's killer in court and they went after him the judge put you in contempt the security guards jump you when i would be like yeah let them get them give them some type of victory some type of peace get a hold to them so you can just feel something because they going away and they're going to eat they're going to have Prison, I heard, allegedly, is just like another city. Everything that they need is in there. So he's going away big time. Unless somebody really come after him. Unless, you know, they hit on him. But they could, I believe, with some of these people, they're not in the, these prisons. They have a back door and they go out the back door. We don't know if they're in there. But I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm.